Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1467th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Traders. I want to show you this chart. I'm in Washington, D.C. I don't have all that much time to do a long pro uh, production or presentation video, but I've got enough time to show you this. Look at the Dow Jones Transportation Average deemed the leader of U.S. indices. It popped out of this channel and above the 200 ball moving average. Let me zoom in on that for a moment and show it to you. It popped out of the channel and it's above the 200 ball moving average. That's very interesting, don't you think? So you got to love what you see there. Let me see if I can get another chart or two into focus. This won't be the best production of a video, but you, I should be able to show you what I want. Here we are with the E-mini S&P. Zoom out for a moment, and you can see you've got the same situation. You've popped out of the channel, but you're well above the 200 ball moving average. And if I zoom in, you can see that we are absolutely outside of that channel right now in the E-mini S&P. So we are buyers of dips, and we certainly will have a green Omni to start off the day, trading in the E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, you name it. We're going to look to get long on a dip. And let me show you one other chart while we're looking at charts. Maybe I could pull a gold chart for you here. Because I want you to recognize that gold does not do this for no reason. I am sorry. I don't care what people think about the last two days. It had a little bit of a down move. But I am telling you right now that gold does not do this for no reason. Gold has had a massive run up. Watch the chart. If you recall, we had this wonderful cup. And then a handle formed, so you had a cup, and then you had a handle, and then the market took off, went into a consolidation, and now we've got a bull flag. If you look over to the right, I'll zoom in on it a bit, you've got that bull flag. I am telling you that gold does not do this for no reason, so I want you to take a look at that. We are not actually looking to do anything in gold for Wednesday, but the likelihood is we will be messing with the gold on Thursday. We're going to watch it a little bit on Wednesday, but NASDAQ, E-mini, S&P, Russell, we're going to look to buy one of those. And traders, I kid you not, this is a very interesting chart, this gold chart. That's a nice bull flag. I would not be counting out the gold. Traders, if you like the analysis I've been putting forth in these videos, and we've got a lot of videos, as you've seen, very educational videos. If you like the analysis being put forth in these videos, and if you'd like to learn how to come up with the Omni Trades for yourselves, come to LiveWithOscar.com, fill out an OmniCamp application, and I will qualify you for the next OmniCamp. It is going to be held on June 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Only six of you are coming to this Omni Camp. There are only two, count them, two open seats that I haven't made a decision on yet. So I've got two open seats, and I would, wouldn't mind getting a, a filled out application from you so I can qualify you and see if you want to come out to Vegas and if you make the qualifying round. Now, I will say this if you're a novice that doesn't know anything about charts, but you can pull up a daily bar chart for me and snap a trend line then you are qualified to come out to Omnicamp because from what I've noticed, the least you know, the easier it is for me to help you. So come on down to LiveWithOscar.com. Come into my free trading room. If you want to join me in June and there's only five weeks left and only two seats, come to LiveWithOscar.com. Fill out your Omnicamp application by clicking this link right here, and I'll be more than happy to qualify you for a seat. Traders, that's all I wanted to show you for now. So we've got Green Omni for trading E-mini S&P and the usual suspects. I want you to keep your emotions out of this game to, you, to the best of your ability. So remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things, in my opinion, that you can do to keep your emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, I'll see you all at livewithoscar.com. 
Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.